Hello everyone, this is Sai Kumar from Department of ECA, RG Creative Process. Today, I am, do, I am going to talk about a simple ML project that is prediction of rock versus mine. We know submarines, right? In submarines, the people who are inside the uh, submarine, actually they can't able to see around the submarine from inside. Uh, where, whether outside if there is a rock or a mine in front of the submarine. So actually how they will be able to see and how they can uh, they are traveling. That is because of using sonar detection system. So using sonar detection system they can able to predict the uh, thing whether that is a rock or a uh, mine. So here predicting the thing, thing means it comes under the machine learning. So we are going to talk about this machine learning uh, technique, how uh, it is uh, predicting the things. Uh, so we are going to see some uh, algorithms that is how they can classify the things. So uh, here uh, basically we are using binary classifier. What binary classifier is? It is simply classify the two things. So here we are classifying that is a mine or a rock. So, it is comes under binary classifier. So, let's see how this machine learning algorithm works and how uh, the things will be predicted using these algorithms. Okay, before going to the code, directly coding part, first of all, we, can, we will see how this uh, ML algorithm is working, that is, uh, the what type of uh, class pair we are using and the all the things we will first of all uh, first we discuss all those all those things first so you know the submarine right this is a submarine and in front of submarine there is a rock and the uh, mine, mine. Uh, by using sonar detection system it can able to predict whether that is a mine or a rock by using uh, available data it can predict this is this is how the uh, prediction will be done first of all we will be having some experimental data uh, and the data will be um, that is be called as training data and this training data will be stored and what this data will be the, given to the classifier the classifier will uh, based on training data will classify whether that is a rock or a mine the classifier we are uh, the classifier that we are using here is logistic regression classifier. Uh, actually, what this classifier do is uh, it is a binary classifier. Actually, it will take the available test data that is experimental data and based on that experimental data, uh, it will uh, uh, we will produce some test data and it, it will uh, classify the test data. Uh, based on experimental data whether that belongs to class A or class B. Here we, we have two classes uh, that is rock or mine. Okay. The linear regression uh, classifier is a binary classifier that is uh, actually it is similar to linear regression only but linear regression is uh, used for solving regression problems but the logistic regression is used for solving classification problems. In classification regression, instead of fitting a regression line, we fit an S-shaped logistic function. Okay, predicts two maximum values that is 0 or 1. Logistic regression is significant machine learning algorithm because it has the ability to provide probabilities and classify new data using continuous and discrete database. We, we already discussed that right that it will take probability uh, values the probability values will be lied uh, from 0 to 1 so here the threshold value will be uh, classifier here 0 0.5 is the classifier uh, that is threshold value uh, that is the values which are above the 
the shared value will be classified as one class and the values which are below the threshold value value will be classified as another class here uh, for example uh, let me take 0.8 it is above the threshold value so it is classified as a class a for example and the 0.3 is classified as another class okay so far we discussed the classifier how this classifier will work the further coding part will be explained by Hari Krishna okay thank you hello everyone in this particular video we are going to make a new machine learning model so we are going to make a model in which we can easily predict whether a particular uh, object is a mine or a rock so it is a rock versus mine prediction model so uh, let me just explain you what is this all about so if you know about uh, submarines which are uh, used by navies, uh, navies of different countries uh, they just put uh, mines in the uh, rivers and uh, oceans and uh, there are also rocks present in the ocean so uh, the enemy ship will try to figure out that whether the uh, object which is close to them is a mine or a rock so uh, this particular data set is uh, based on this particular concept only here you can see the different values are given here and uh, in the last column here you can see that uh, whether the uh, particular object is a rock or a mine uh, based on this particular data set is given so here you can see that r is given and after that here you can see that m is given so basically this data set is, uh, is used to uh, predict whether the particular object is a mine or a rock so we will make a particular model uh, based on this data set and we will predict whether the particular object is a, a mine or a rock so uh, let's get started so here you can see that i have just opened my jupyter notebook and here we will start making our uh, uh, predicting model so here you can see that first of all I have just imported the dependencies which are needed here so I have just imported numpy as np pandas as pd and from sklearn.model selection I have just imported train test split so basically what we have to do we have to split our data set into two parts so that's why we need this particular function train test split and after that I have just imported logistic regression model so basically what happens here uh, we have to just uh, classify whether the particular object is a, a rock or a mine so it's, it will just give us two answers so uh, that's why we have to need, use this particular regression model here so logistic regression is best for this so after that I have just imported accuracy score so this particular function will give us the accuracy function, a score of that particular model which we will make in this particular video so let's move forward so here you can see that uh, now I have just loaded the data set into a pandas data frame so I have just created a new variable sonar data and then I have just loaded this particular uh, data set into this particular variable so now uh, this data set will be converted into a pandas data frame so after that I have just uh, used the head function to print the first 5 rows of this particular data set here so here you can see that uh, the first 5 rows of this particular column so here you can see that uh, these are the columns and rows here and the last column you can see that R uh, is there these are the particular labels here rock and mine so R represent the rock and M represent the mine so after that I am just uh, printing the total number of rows and columns present in this particular data frame here so here you can see that I have just used the shape function here so shape function will give us the total number of rows and columns here so there are 200 rows and 61 columns here so after that I am just using describe function so describe function will give us the statistical measure of this particular data set here so here you can see that uh, different columns are here here you can see that count mean standard and different kind of uh, rows are here and you can get a overview of, of, overview of it so let's move forward so after that I am just using value count function so uh, once we have just used it you can see that uh, total number of mine are 111 and total number of rock here are 97 so you can just have a glance of it so once we have done all of these things uh, we will just uh, separate data and labels here so label is here the uh, mine and rock column so we will just drop that particular uh, column here so i am just making a new variable x and y here so sonar data dot drop column 60 and x is equal to 1 so whenever you just drop a particular column then you have to uh, keep x value is equal to 1 
So once you have just dropped this particular column here, we will store this particular column into a new variable that is y. So let me just print this particular variable here. So once we have printed this, you can see that uh, these are uh, the uh, new columns and rows of the uh, x and y. So here you can see that there are only 59 columns now in x and uh, the particular y function uh, y variable here is having this particular uh, co column here which is uh, having r and m values so once we have done this also we will just uh, uh, move forward here you can see that uh, now we are just uh, using the train test split function so now we will split our particular uh, data set into two parts test and train so i am just creating new variables here x train x test y train and y test and i am just using train test split so uh, I am just keeping the test size equal to 0 0.1 and random state is equal to 1. You can just change the value of uh, random state is equal to 2 or 3. It's up to you. So once we have done this also, we will just print the x shape, x train shape and x test shape. So here you can get a uh, overview of how the uh, data is separated here. So uh, the x is containing 208, 208 rows and 60 columns and x train is containing 187 columns and uh, uh, 187 rows and uh, the x test is containing 21 columns here so here you can see that our particular data set is separated into two parts so now i am just printing x train and y train variable here so here you can see that uh, these are uh, the output of x train and y train here so let's move forward now so we will be training our uh, machine learning model now so i am just creating a new variable model and uh, logistic regression uh, function I am using here. So once we have done this also, uh, we will train our particular logistic model with training data. So here you can see that I have just used fit function here and uh, x train and y train uh, variables are here. So once we have done this also, our uh, machine learning model is trained and now we will just evaluate our particular model here. So here you can see that uh, we will just uh, check the accuracy score of our training data. So I am just creating a new variable x train prediction and we will just use predict function uh, to predict our particular model here. So after that I am just uh, creating a new variable here training data accuracy. So this will give us the accuracy score of our uh, particular uh, model. So I am just feeding with x train prediction and y train. So after, once we have done this, uh, we, have, uh, we will just repeat this particular uh, thing with the test data also. So I am just creating new variables, x test prediction and test data accuracy. And we will just uh, calculate the accuracy score of our uh, test data. So I am just printing the accuracy on test data. So here you can see that the accuracy score on test data is 0 0.76190. So it is a very good uh, accuracy score. So uh, here you can see that our model is completely made. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.